Sup, we back with another lore. This time we're gonna be checking out the new Galio lore. Oh, before I start, y'all should uh, go follow me on Instagram. Yeah, I'm gonna start posting shit. Alright, thanks. Follow me on Instagram. Alright, let's start the story. Once upon a time during the Rune Wars, a group of refugees were running away from these dark mages who were trying to kill them. They ran away for days without rest until they found a forest to hide in. When the evil mages caught up to them, they noticed that their magic wasn't working. For some reason, the trees in the forest were a natural magic dampener. Taking advantage of the magicless mages, the refugees fought back and drove them out of the woods. Then they all agreed to make the forest their new home. So they all built a place there with the wood. Eventually they found out that if you mix the trees with ash and lime, you can make this stone type of thing called petrosite. So then they started building up walls and buildings with it. This place eventually became the Kingdom of Demacia. Because of the anti-magic walls, the Demacians always felt safe in their home. But when they leave the city for battle, they get wrecked every time the enemy uses magic. So to counter this, the elders of the kingdom decided to hire a sculptor named Duran to whip up some anti-magic shields using the petrosite. Two years later, Duran came back to reveal his masterpiece. He made a statue and named it Gallio. This guy was sent to make shields for the army and came back two years later with a fucking statue. Even though it wasn't what anyone expected, Gallio would eventually become a symbol of Demacia's might all across Runeterra. Every time the Demacian army would go fight enemies who used magic, they would have to drag Gallio's ass all the way into battlefield. Gallio's presence would make the battlefield anti-magic, which really helped out the Demacian army beat up their enemies. In a battle against Noxus, the Noxians assembled an elite group of war mages that were somehow so powerful that Gallio's anti-magic barrier didn't do anything to their magic. The Demacians were getting slapped by Noxus for 13 days. Right when the Demacians were about to give up, a huge shadow filled up the battlefield. It was fucking Gallio. For some reason, the magic that Gallio sucked up all this time made him come to life. Everyone was looking up at him like, what the fuck is actually happening? Before they could all take in that this statue was literally right there talking to them, a magical projectile was heading straight for a group of soldiers. Gallio threw himself in front of the troops and shielded them from the attack. Gallio turned to where the attack had come from and saw a group of mages chilling on some cliff. As Gallio charged at them, the Noxian mages concentrated their magic into one huge Kamehameha, but it did nothing. Gallio ate it all up. Gallio just charged through the mages and fucked them all up. The rest of the Noxians ran away and the surviving Demacians cheered. They went up to Gallio to thank him, but he was back to being a statue. When they got back home, the troops told the people about how Gallio came to life and saved them, but everyone thought they were crazy and didn't believe it. Eventually, years passed, and the story of Gallio coming to life became a mere legend. Gallio just chilled there for centuries. He was conscious, but he couldn't move. He would just watch as people walked by him. He thought it was weird that some people would never come back, and that new young faces would appear out of nowhere. He thought that the older guys would disappear to be fixed or something. One day as the army was coming back from battle, he noticed there was a boy who was lying on a stretcher the troops were carrying. Gallio had seen the guy before, but he wasn't moving anymore. He was dead. That's when Gallia noticed that humans didn't live forever like him, and that they can't go and get fixed like him if they're broken. That's when Gallio decided to protect his people no matter what. Since then, Gallio was able to join only a few battles, sometimes going for centuries without moving. Gallio wished that one day, he would be blessed by a magic so powerful that he wouldn't be forced to go back to sleep again. And yeah, that's how Gallio became Gallio. The end.